Hey, what's up guys, Paul Tomko here. This next training video we're doing is how to train your chest safely when you're at home. How do you find ways to overload the chest when you're at home? How do you keep your shoulders safe to make sure you're not doing any injury when you're at home? So all that and more, let's get started. So next up, for workouts at home, we're gonna be doing chest workouts. So by far, your best exercise that you can do for chest is the basic push-up. And I mean, you can do it anywhere, you can do it at home, and I'm gonna show you the different variations of doing a push-up today. So first up with hand placement. A lot of people, they when they do push-ups initially, they're going out a lot wider, and uh, the problem with that is, especially if you're not good at using your technique or if you have any previous shoulder injuries, going out too wide can put too much stress on your shoulder joint capsule and do some damage over time. So if you wanna keep your, your shoulders healthy, I always recommend keeping your, your grip a little bit more narrow and bringing your hands down a little bit. So just to do your basic push-up, hands are around shoulder width apart. You wanna make sure that your chest is expanded out. If your chest is coming down, as it comes down, you're using more, more shoulders and taking stress off your chest. So always keep your chest out. So we're coming right here. Chest is out, coming down, and up. Down, up. So one thing you'll notice is I'm not coming all the way up. The point from here to here, you're taking a lot of stress off your chest and putting it on your elbow joint. And also um, just letting the chest relax, which is not ideal. You wanna keep the chest what's called under constant tension, where the chest is always being worked. So to do that, I go from the bottom part and I go up about 75% of the way, and right there, I go right back down into the next rep. So, right here, control, always controlled. Come up, 75% of the way up, control down. Up, control, control, control. Always breathing out as you come up, control. So that is the basic push-up. You can't go wrong with it. Now some variations to that. Say you can't do a normal push-up. You're not strong enough yet. Or you can't do too many push-ups. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with using your knees. So putting your knees down, having your feet up, and this makes the overall weight lighter, and you can do a push-up then. And this is one thing I talk about in terms of preventing injuries. It's very, very important to warm up very well. So even me, when I'm warming up, I will start my first one or two sets of push-ups, normally if I can, on my knees to get lots of good blood flow into the chest, into the shoulders, into the triceps. Get everything warmed up before you go into the heavier push-ups. So again, start with knee push-ups, warm up, go into full push-ups. And then, <laughs> again, we're at home, we're trying to find ways to overload the chest Really get some good development in your chest, your shoulders, your, your triceps. <clears throat> One thing you can do, everyone has a backpack at home that they can use, and then just find things that you can put in it that are heavy. I have some extra plates at home, which is great. If you don't have plates, <clears throat> again, you can use water bottles, you can use, you can use anything that's heavy. You can use beans, you can use rice. Load up your backpack. Get some weight in there, as much weight as you can, whatever, whatever you want, throw it in your backpack, zip it up. And now I'm using my body weight plus, you know, I think this is maybe 15, 16, 17 pounds on top of my normal body weight. And same thing, do your push-ups with the backpack on. So same thing, controlled, coming up 75% of the way up. And by doing this, you're able to find ways to add resistance to your, to your normal basic push-up to the point that you can load it up with as much weight as you have. So I would say push-ups are the number one exercise that you can do at home for your chest. The second one is a close one, a close second, but it's gonna engage your triceps a lot more. I talk about this exercise when I talked about the, the tricep movements that you can do, but it's the chair dip. So. You got three chairs set up, a couple variations. When you're first starting out, 
Start with your feet on the ground. This is the easiest variation. And even though you're working your triceps, you're also working the lower part of your chest, the bottom part. The next step up from there, have your feet away from you. And the hardest variation that you can do with three chairs is have your feet up on the chair and you're coming down, up, coming down. If you want to, you can always add more weight to that by either doing a full dip if you have like a counter corner that you can use to do dips on or just find weight that you can throw onto your lap like so, go into the dip. And by doing this, you're able to add weight to your dips. And like I talked about before, always make sure when you're doing dips to control the way down. You never wanna drop too fast because you're gonna throw out your shoulder or, or damage something. So always control, don't go down too deep, squeeze up, control, squeeze up. The last chest movement that I'm gonna tell you is more of an isolation movement. So this movement is, is not the focus of your chest workout. This is just kind of a, a nice little bonus. And this is called, well, there's many different names you can call it. I'm going to call it a dumbbell crossover. So normally, like if you're in a, if you're in a gym, you're trying to finish up your chest workout, you got some cables, maybe you do like a cable crossover or some kind of dumbbell fly to really finish up the chest, the inner part of your chest, your upper chest. One variation that you can do at home, if you have a dumbbell is squeezing up. So you're just coming down control squeezing up and across control squeezing up and across you can use heavier dumbbell if you want but there's no need to go super heavy on this if you go too heavy you're going to end up using too much momentum and you kind of defeat the purpose of the workout if you have a backpack loaded up if you're standing you can do this too same thing the important thing is getting that same motion where you're coming up again the function in your chest is to come bring your arm across your body, whether you're coming up or down. So this exercise, chest is up, squeezing up and across, and you're really gonna help isolate that inner upper part of your chest. All right, that's it for this training video on training your chest when you're at home. Again, don't overcomplicate things. The basic push-up will take you a long way in terms of maintaining and building your chest when you're at home. You just gotta find ways to safely overload the chest with weights if it makes sense for you and to find ways to keep your shoulders healthy so you don't injure yourself. So make sure you check out my other training videos and I'll see you guys in the next video.